afternoon, lovely people on YouTube, budget guitarist here, um, new amp day. This is a Laney LC30 Class A all tube amp and it's an absolute beast, um, properly, properly beasty. Uh, it's got two channels, there's a clean channel, a gain channel, uh, channel select. Um, I'm searching the, the barrels of the marketplace for the actual foot switch. I'm sure I'll find one soon enough. Um, came from marketplace, second hand obviously. So this was off the back of a trade that took me, uh, I don't know. The amp wasn't for sale for a few months, but it took me a few months to like trade and sell and buy and trade up and so on and so on to have something uh, valuable enough to trade for ultimately this in the end um, I wasn't looking for another amp it just sort of yeah this advert came on and I was like I, I need I want that I don't know it's crazy I saw the picture and to me it looked like it was going to sound like what I wanted it to sound like but um, yeah it does totally 100% it sounds amazing to my ears anyway you know it's all subjective but um, I did a bit of research on the Laney um, LC um, 30 and I think it's sort of come out 2008, 2009 maybe, um, so it's pretty old now, uh, but the, well from what I've read off the internet and the Google and that, so the LC gave you Marshall, um, Marshall sort of like game channel or Marshall overdrive and Fender Clean, which as soon as I read that bit I was sort of thinking well I reckon it's going to be able to do the two artists I like the best so it's got a nice clean for Stevie Ray which I can drive with a blues driver or an overdrive and then on its on the on the gain channel it's going to give me Marshall in your face all out you know Marshall tones for Jimi Hendrix sounding kind of stuff I've not tried it yet with any pedals run through it I'm pretty sure it will accept the pedals through the clean channel with no problem but I will I'll get around to doing that, but I'll give you a, I don't know, a little snippet, a little taster of just how this sounds, and hopefully the audio does it a little bit of justice. Um, so I want to clean channel now. Uh, the volume is is uh, at one, and it's properly properly loud. Um, like it's, for some reason, it's uh, I had a fifty watt PV head. Um, somehow this is only thirty watts, but it's louder. Um, if I run it at past one in the little room here, it's it's hurting my ears. But um, yeah, not a lot of bass coming on. Um, I've got my middle sort of there. My treble is there, so the face and outwards like that. But it's it definitely does does lovely sort of like Fender cleany. <laughs> incredible um, so much different from the PV to be fair um, for a long time I thought the PV was broken uh, well it was actually it did actually need uh, new um, power tubes um, once I've figured that out you know they're very expensive to replace but I replaced those and uh, then I made the mistake of playing through someone else's amp and the PV sounded sort of like really dark and muddy compared to you know my friend's tube amp but apparently that was just a peavy thing, um, it just sounds dark. Um, yeah, so even when I put the new tubes in it, I was convinced it was still not sounding the way it was supposed to do. Uh, it's because I'd heard something else. Uh, but anyway, back on to this. So it's doing that. Um, the, the sort of, you know, those crisp, clear cleans. Uh, it's got reverb on it, so it's got actual real spring reverb. Which again just sounds epic, it just sounds properly old school. 
like it is like a you know a, a Fender 65 Deluxe or something you know something like that <laughs> Uh, there's absolutely nothing digital happening here, so it's it, it's a full all tube class A amp. The reverb spring, this it's just doing what tube amps do the best is, uh, which is communicate directly with the player through the guitar. So what you're getting from a tube amp is the actual sounds your guitar makes, which I just think is absolutely mega. <laughs> That. So I've been looking for this sound for a long time, and it's this. Yeah, I forgot how to play it now, but that sort of that really lovely chimey clean from um, tracks like Lenny, and there's another one. Um, is it Hotel Paradiso or something like that, where it's just like properly properly clean and then you know in the sections where it is driven it's just ever so slightly driven um, but it's it's definitely in the Stevie Ray it's definitely in the Stevie Ray Vaughan zone I know it, I can tell by hearing it it definitely is <laughs> what it says on the tin I guess it's the clean and it's uh, a lovely channel 2 then so I, I, I tried to find something that was more Hendrixy to you know to see if it can do Marshall you know Marshall driven sounds I think it can <laughs> And I'm pretty sure if I was to then drive that with a fuzz, you know, use the, use the wire pedal and all the rest of it, then it would definitely be in that sort of Hendrix <laughs> But you get the crack anyway, so it's doing lovely cleans and it's doing marshally uh, driven dri driven sounds. Very cool. Um, you'll definitely hear it more from this, I guess, once I you know try it with the pedals and all the rest of it. But for now, I think uh, it Rich, the uh, novice noise maker. Um, he was asking. He was asking me in the comments. So you know what? If you got on all the rest of it, I didn't want to spoil the surprise. So. But yeah, it was this absolute powerhouse of an amp. Thank you very much for watching.